Hello, my name is Ron Bonica. I'm a distinguished engineer with Juniper Networks, and today we're going to talk a little bit about the benefits of segment routing, its advantages over traditional approaches to traffic engineering. In order to discuss the benefits of segment routing, we need to review a little bit what are the differences between traditional approaches to traffic engineering and the segment routing approach. In a traditional approach to traffic engineering, the ingress node prepends a single label to a packet. That label represents the entire path. It forwards the packet to the first transit node. The first transit node maintains per path information. It understands that label and it processes it. Maybe it swaps the label value and sends the packet on to the next transit node. The next transit node maintains per path information. It does what it needs to do and sends the packet on until the packet finally arrives at its destination. Let's compare this to segment routing. In segment routing, we divide the SR path into segments. Each segment terminates at a segment endpoint node. We can think of it as being a waypoint. Now, the segment ingress node prepends many labels to a packet. Each label represents a segment. The ingress node sends the packet to the first segment endpoint. The first segment endpoint examines the outermost label, processes it, that means it's going to send it on to the next segment endpoint, and pops off the outermost label. The next segment endpoint does the same thing. It looks at the outermost label, processes it, and pops off the outermost label. This process continues until the packet arrives at the segment egress with no labels at all. What are the advantages of segment routing beyond traditional approaches to traffic engineering? Well, the first is, in segment routing, transit nodes don't need to maintain per path information. If the transit node doesn't need to maintain per path information, you don't need a special protocol to distribute per path information. The other advantage is that in segment routing, the network converges much more quickly after a change in network topology. Let's say for a moment that a link breaks in your network. In a traditional environment, where you're uh, using a traditional approach to traffic engineering, a link breaks and many paths are affected, hundreds, maybe thousands. When that happens, all of those paths need to re-signal at once. So you get a thundering herd of re-signaling traffic with many, many ingress nodes trying to re-signal many, many paths all at once. Then you get con a control plane congestion. In segment routing, this doesn't happen. The node directly upstream of the broken link signals that a link is broken. All of the path ingress nodes receive that piece of information, and now when they send packets into the network, they send them with a different set of labels, a set of labels that makes them traverse a different path, one that circumvents the broken link. There's no need to re-signal every path at once, just a need to inform the ingress nodes that something has changed. Now, we've assumed so far that the ingress node is doing the path computation, that the ingress node is determining which segments the packet needs to take to go from ingress to egress. Sometimes that's the case, but not always. Sometimes there's a central controller that's doing path computation. The controller can offer benefits beyond doing path computation where bandwidth reservations are, res uh, are involved. The controller is the only element in the network that maintains a global view of the entire network. It can receive telemetry from every network element about things like congestion and so forth. So because it has a global view, it may be able to make better path computation decisions than any network element could make without that global view. Thank you for watching, and for more information, check out our website at juniper.net forward slash sr.